So thanks a lot for inviting me here to deliver an important talk on mitigating hypoglycemia and clinical practice. So uh, in the coming few minutes of journey, we will be going through the hypoglycemia, what is it and how we can mitigate in our clinical practice because it is very important to prevent the episodes of hypoglycemia, to prevent the future complications and a lot of money we can save. So what is hypoglycemia? We all know that level 1 is less than 70, 54 is level 2 and no specific glucose levels. If we see it is very severe alarming condition. You know, we all might be thinking that the higher admissions rates are for hyperglycemia. But no, my dear friends, the hospital admissions for hypoglycemia are higher than the hypoglycemia. So most misconception is that there is hypoglycemia is not a concern for type 2 diabetic. But my dear friends, it is a two times as many, 12 times as many type 2 diabetic patients develop uh, emergency department admissions for hypos. So prioritize hypoglycemia prevention is very important in type 2 diabetes also. So predictors for hypoglycemia, which we have to mitigate is the food related. In one study, they have shown it is 48%. Delayed or missed meal is 31%. The patients ate less carbohydrate and they went up into hypoglycemia. Unexpected vigorous exercise. Patients usually take more insulin than prescribed and somebody ingest alcohol a lot and then they don't, don't take the meals. So all these are the factors which we should mitigate. And the problem of hypoglycemia is a very high 90% of cases are associated with hypoglycemia admissions and 39% cases result in hospitalization in the real world scenario. So causes of hypoglycemia are a lot which we should mitigate in our clinical practice like new exercise beginning and don't not taking the snacks and inconsistent food intake, weight loss, gastroparesis, alcohol intake and number of uh, factors which we should take care. Aggressive insulin use and sulfonylurea which we prescribe in our patient coming with sugars of 400 and we jump into the insulin and sulfonylurea as high dosages, chronic kidney disease or liver disease, they are the major thing which we should see. The consequences of hypoglycemia are a lot apart from the hypoglycemic episode, sweating and they can go into cognitive dysfunction, seizure, coma and the cardiovascular risk is increased, quality of life is decreased and the severe hypoglycemia can has proven that it is harmful in the advanced BADT in a court trial. And is severe hypoglycemia is a major risk factor for adverse outcome in mostly in the older age population. And it leads to cardiovascular disease. And the meta-analysis have proven that severe hypoglycemia is associated with a higher risk of cardiovascular disease. So my dear friend, there is a pathophysiological pathway which you can see there is increase in the inflammatory markers sympathoadrenal drive increased and cardiovascular risk is very high. And in the older population also, we have to be vigilant to mitigate these episodes like prior episodes or older age polypharmacy that don't remember the cognitive impairment can lead to a high high sugars due to the polypharmacy. So in older adults, we should be vigilant. The hospitalization for hypoglycemia in adults and the subsequent transition to home. In this study, they have shown the patients with more than 80 years they have more hospitalization due to the hypoglycemic episodes. What factors we should mitigate? The most common predictors or factors which causes hypoglycemia are missing a meal or taking too many poly medicines or insulin and not taking the uh, food. So my dear friend, the predictors of hypoglycemia are number of previous hospitalization, insulin treatment, sulfonylurea treatment, higher age, CKD, and number of emergency department visits. So these all you have to mitigate. But how? How we have to mitigate the hypoglycemia, the ADA recommends we have to individualize the pharmacotherapy in patients with the uh, diabetes to prevent or reduce the risk of hypoglycemia, avoiding the overtreatment with multiple polypharmacy, simplifying the complex regimes while maintaining the A1C target. So treatment goals are individualized. If the patient is healthy adult with few comorbidities, 7.5 and below, if the patient is older age, we, have, we should be not too much aggressive, we should keep the A1C of less than 8. So integrated approach, insulin or sulfonylurea, dementia or cognitive impairment, multi-professional educational tool, all these are the high-risk patients which require the uh, proper follow-up. So how you have to mitigate high-risk stratification, targeting the high-risk population and identifying them, intervene with them and prevent the future hypoglycemic events. You have to advocate 
for mitigation, provide patient information on symptoms, management, counseling, and shared decision making with the family members, disseminate information about the A1C accuracy, educate both the providers and the patient. That is very important about the hypoglycemic events or food and ensure the providers and patient having an understanding for medication safety and future risk. So better is to take care of the, take, take the medicines in the adult population, which are having the low risk of hypoglycemia, like metformin, GLP-1, DPP-4 inhibitors, or SGLT-2 inhibitors, which have the less chances of hypoglycemia. So the challenges can be mitigated by real-time CGM or intermittent viewed CGM. You can prevent the episodes of future hypoglycemia. In the type 1 diabetic population, CGM is proving a wonder to mitigate the hypoglycemic event. And during the Ramadan or any other fast, like during the uh, Navratres, you should uh, follow up the patient with SMBG or with the CGM. In this ProFast IT study, they have mitigated hypoglycemia during Ramadan by using the flash glucose monitoring system following dose adjustment of insulin and sulfonylurea in patients with uh, taking the uh, multiple dosages. So structured education and adjustment of the dose of glucose lowering agent along with CGM, it helps to mitigate the hypoglycemic episodes in the Ramadan population. So you have to individualize the target. Don't jump into the 7% in all the population. Please see how is the cognitive function, what are the comorbidities, then you can uh, take care of the HbA1c. So to finish with a few slides, mitigating hypoglycemia is very easy by identifying and addressing the cause, encouraging the SMBG by patient, education and empowerment of patient is very important. Flexible insulin or oral antidiabetic regime, don't stick to the uh, guidelines strictly in the older patients or patients who are going into hypoglycemia. Rational individual glycemic goals should be taken care. Ongoing professional guidance and support is very much important in all aspects of diabetes management. So, Regime of periodic nighttime blood sugar monitoring should be given in the recurrent hypoglycemic patients. Patient via identification card that they are hypoglycemic. Give patient positive feedback when they demonstrate good judgment. And what nutrition changes can be made should be dietitian care should be taken. They should be provided with the middle uh, meal snacks and do not skip or delay meals. Please teach them properly. So the lifestyle changes are very important to mitigate the hypoglycemia. Work closely with the healthcare provider. Your goal of blood sugar should be individualized. How and when to check the glucose levels. All these things can be uh, discussed and taken care. Do not drink alcohol on an empty stomach. Check your exercise before, during and after exercise. So to conclude, the patients with hypoglycemia risk like renal impairment, CVD or polypharmacy and the advanced age, they have the more chance of hypoglycemia. You have to be vigilant in these patients. In older population, you have to use the drugs like DPP-4 inhibitors or SGLT-2 for mitigating the hypoglycemic episodes. So my dear friends, take a, a team approach. Mitigating hypoglycemia should be a part of composite diabetes management. Don't only jump onto the management of fasting and PP, but you have to mitigate the hypoglycemic episodes by proper education of patient and family members. Choosing the right treatment for different subgroup of diabetes patients you have to individualize the treatment. Frequent glucose monitoring is an important tool to mitigate hypos in all subgroups of diabetes patients, whether they are type 1, type 2, or GDM, along with CGM monitoring. A1C goal should be individualized as per the patient uh, profile to avoid future hypoglycemia. So thank you for patient hearing. In the nutshell, we have to mitigate with family member education, patient education, and frequent monitoring. Thank you. Thanks a lot.